Hello and welcome to a quick little tutorial on how to uh, install the Starvation mod for 7 Days to Die. Um, this is for the A16 version uh, of 7 Days to Die. So, uh, what you first want to do is just go to your Steam library, okay, and then you want to go to your 7 Days to Die folder and you want to right click on it and you want to go to properties and then you want to click on local files and then browse local files and this will open up uh, your your seven days to die file now click on you want to either go back if you can or just click on common here so if you click on common it's going to show you all the all your games in steam okay now you can see i have a seven days to die folder here and then below that I have seven days to die starvation okay you won't have that uh, you'll just have the seven days to die so right click over here and go to new and folder and then type in seven days to die starvation um, let me delete this okay and then you will have a new seven days to die starvation folder just like I have okay and then just exit out and then close this Okay, all right, now what you want to do is you want to go to the, uh, to the forum post for the uh, A16 version of uh, Starvation Mod. I'll put a link in the description uh, on how you can get here. And then you want to scroll down here uh, to right here. And this says uh, Seven Days to Die Mod Launcher. So you're going to install the new Seven Days to Die Mod Launcher. You're just going to click on that and then go down here and click on three ways to install the mod launcher and just click on the first one here and that will download it and then just click on it. It'll be in your download folder and uh, I already have it installed. Um, let me exit out of that. So I've already got it installed and it should be, is it up? No. Okay. So let me minimize this. Let me, it'll, it'll put a shortcut on your desktop. So just double click on that. I should have just let it. Okay. So anyhow. All right. So this is the new seven days to die launcher. Okay. So you have it now when you first what you'll do is you'll click on the starvation mod and then you'll click on the plus sign next to it and I have it already installed okay so when I click on it it just says play mod that's how you play the game uh, you don't go through Steam anymore if you want to play if you if you want to play vanilla uh, seven days to die yes go through Steam but if you want to play a mod then you'll go through this but when you first get on it like if you were putting in Valmar, uh, you would highlight it and click on that, and it, this will come up, okay? So what, what this mod is going to do is it's going to copy uh, your existing game into the new folder you just created, okay? So it's going to make a whole copy of your game plus the mod files. So you want to have copy from existing, and then you want to select the um, the folder that you uh, that you had created so you would go you would find your uh, I have my steam on my F drive so you would go to here you would go to your steam library and then go to common and then click click on seven days that I starvation okay I'm gonna cancel that because I already have it installed um, so yeah, so then you would just, after you, after you select the pro appropriate folder, uh, you would hit install and it will, it's going to take some time cause it's going to make a whole new copy of your game. But once it is installed, uh, in order to play it, you would click on the starvation mod, um, 
and you can see where it's at here it's in common seven days to die starvation folder and then starvation mod and then just click play and it will it will play the game uh, yeah it's that it's that easy the new uh, seven days to die mod launcher uh, makes installing mods for seven days to die quite quite quick and easy so yeah that's how you do it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed